Hello, hello everyone. Uh, I'm going to talk to you about Bilon, which is something that together with Robert, who sits here in the background, and a couple of other guys, we've created over the course of last years. And I think this is, to me, and I hope to some of you, it'll be extremely exciting to, to see what we do and how we actually work. Uh, we call ourselves a PayPal without a bank account, uh, peer-to-peer digital mobile cash. And I'll uh, walk you through all the details. But first, let me introduce ourselves. Uh, we've got a number of people that used to work in large corporates. Some of them, some of us founded banks as founding members. Uh, some of us built online businesses in the payments industry. But I'll tell you my private story, and uh, hopefully I won't bore you to death. I, I used to run an uh, MTV strategy for most of Europe, down south to South Africa and Russia all down to Vladivostok. And I got this target from my boss, monetize our online users. Great, we've got millions of online people watching the Jersey Shore and the Kardashians and everyone else, but how can I monetize these users if they cannot pay online, if they cannot transfer money from their home to my online business? And this is how I stumbled upon this great business after working in multiple organizations afterwards. And I'll walk you through it, who, how we do it and what we do. First, I'll talk to you about our clients. Everybody, every business needs clients. And in Poland, we work with the financial industry, within the banks. We work with Plusbank, we work with eCard. A number of small players that you see on the logo are business-to-business -business customers where we help them. I'll walk you through how we help these customers. But we also work internationally quite heavily. Uh, we've just launched a collab with uh, Citibank. We, over a month ago, we won a Citibank Mobile Challenge, which is a, a competition for over 800 businesses from all around the world. And we were one among those that won their, uh, their prize. But we are also working fairly heavily across uh, multiple markets be it international uh, banks, be it local banks, be it international remittances companies and financial institutions. So what do we do and how do we do it? Well, if you think about traditional e-wallet and peer-to-peer -peer payments, we kind of looked at them, thought about them, and we totally redefined them. So what we did is we've designed a very simple app for anybody to use, either on your PC, server, tablet, smartphone, cash register, POS device, you name it, you call it, whatever is the hardware, it works on it. And there are two critical features that we offer to everybody that uses it. First of all, it's free app. So you can download it and you're ready to use it. And that's the second feature. Just download it and use it, and you can use financial products without a contract. Until now, nobody has done it ever before. And why is it so important and so critical? Well, look at, a, at one of our customers, and you know, this is just an anecdotal example of what we do. We work for this consumer research agency. Consumer research agency is the company that goes to Colgate and asks them, hey, how do you like your new toothpaste uh, package? Oh, we don't know, go and try. Try it with 100,000 people. These 100,000 people, want to get rewarded for answering the question, do you like the toothpaste box? They want to get rewarded, which means they want to get the money. They want the company, in this particular case, they operate out of Poland, which is IQS, they want to get money from IQS for answering those research uh, questionnaires. IQS ditched real cash, PayPal, bank transfers, and moved over 100,000 of payouts that they do per year, that's our running rate, uh, over to Bilon. We did this other event a couple of days back. Where is this? Next slide. OK. Heads up, who has ever heard of Isaac? Great, you're old. Me too. I've never heard of him. This guy? is number one in Poland when it comes to streaming video content. He has over 3 million followers every single month. 
We did a small test and run with him on a small event at Torvar for 10,000 people where we wanted to see how his audience and his audiences between 13 and 34 reacts to a very spontaneous thing. Basically, Isaac did put a website up and said, whoever is out there and wants to give me some money, please do. The kids or the adults, you know, 13 to 34, just downloaded the app, and within 12 hours, Isaac earned over 2,500 zlotys with, I believe, 11,000 transactions. Those kids and adults, young adults, did not need a bank account in order to transfer money from their computer, their smartphone, to Isaac. Now, we're looking into working with those YouTubers, streamers, and all this video content that is being generated every single day. How can we target about 5 million people in this country that do not have a bank account because they cannot afford it, but that they want to be a participant of a digital economy. And you wonder how many people are out there who do not have a bank account. Well, globally, two and a half billion people do not have a bank account. And in Poland, it's nearly the same statistics, except it's not counted in billions, but in the percentage terms. Nearly one third of Poles do not have a bank account. And it could, you could ask yourselves why. The simple re reason is it's very expensive. In order to have a bank account that's dormant, so someone that just puts their very little money and keeps it, it costs the bank per year 30, 40, 50 euros. 70% of bank accounts worldwide, 70% do not generate a single dime of profit for the bank. So what do we do? We go after these clients. We offer them a cheaper product, and that's the reason why the banks like us. How do we do it? So in today's world, if you want to have a bank account and you're that customer, you need to go to that bank account. And if I want to give you money, $10, 10 euros, 10 zlotys, you need to have that bank account. Bank account means costs, because you need to open up that bank account. You need to have the so-called omni-channel experience online, mobile, branch, it costs money. It's not for free. And then when I want to give you money from my bank account to your bank account, we basically tell, tell the bank, let's do a money transfer. It's like a remote control to your bank account. I go online, I ask your current account number, and I transfer you the money. And there is over 900 companies competing in that area. If we talk about Poland, for instance, you could think about KIR, Krajowa Izba Rozliczeniowa, one of them, but there are multiple others trying to make the money move from me over to you. So we thought to ourselves, why don't we go another way? Why don't we, as a bank, give a money app to the customer? Within that money app, there is real money. And why don't we do the money transfer between the individuals? Directly, peer-to-peer, -peer, no external intermediaries, which probably also means no external costs. This is how we do it. And the beauty of that is, and that's the reason why we win Citibank, why we win other banking customers, we reduce the costs for the bank by 90%. They don't need to deal anymore with this complex banking account. What's your login? How much does it cost? Tra -la 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 -la. They just give you an app, the one that you're used to, either the banking app or a new app, and you transfer the money, same as you do with paper money. Me to you, is it digital, is it paper? It doesn't matter. It's free of charge for the bank. So, you could ask yourself, how is it all possible and how does it work? It's basically a technology game. And in today's world, you usually encrypt only the access to the data. So think of it, you usually, if you protect something, you put a password onto that. Think about your Word file. You put a password on your Word file, but whoever knows the password to that Word file can access the content of that word. In our world, we also encrypt the content of that world. This is called data encryption, and this is advanced crypto system. What is the result from that? The result from that is very simple. 
we enable the real money to be encrypted as electronic files. So you think of it as your paper money, but moved into the digital world. And this digital world is electronic file, money in whatever device you have, which you move directly. And it's fully legal. What? And what does it bring us to? It brings us to the fact that any bank involved in that project, in that area, can offer traditional banking products to its audience. And the best traditional banking product to its audience is a loan. There is not a better single product for a retail bank than a loan. Everything else, payments, wallets, uh, ATM withdrawals that we offer, is just an add-on. We give the banks all the traditional products without the costs of these uh, traditional products. That's the reason why we move uh, forward with so many international partners these days. And when you think about us and you think about all the other existing banking products, it comes down to a very simple fact. We are complementary and not a competitor to whatever the banks offer today. Because if you think about current banking products offering, first they need to know your ID, your name, where you live, before they offer you a product. With our approach, they don't even need to know you because it's legal, but they can already enable you to live in the digital economy, financial digital economy, without knowing you. Therefore, with the deferred KYC and AML, which are the banking procedures to knowing who the customer is, they can offer all these cool products. So what we do and why it's so exciting and why we are having a 35-man strong team why we've invested already millions into that and why we believe this will change the financial world is because nobody else worldwide can give an offering of a banking product without a bank. And this is exactly what we do. Each of you, each single one of you, can just go into our website, billoncash.com, or uh, into Google Play and just download the Billon app. And here you go. You've got a money app in your electronic device without signing up for a bank account. For those of you who've used PayPal, you might have thought, yeah, it's very similar. Works exactly the same way. But the moment you hit more than 10 or 15 or $20, whatever is the threshold today at PayPal, they ask you for your ID, your verification, etc. And by the way, PayPal is a bank. It's not a payment system. It's a bank registered in Luxembourg. Um, so why don't I show you how this demo works? Uh, and I'll show you actually on a real example. The first example that I'm going to show you is all about how do I collect my money if I work online, right? So I've told you about this IQS. I've told you about that story. Uh, if we can get it up there. You know, Robert is the CTO, so the computer must work somehow. Um, <clears throat> so the story is following. Our customers, which in this case is IQS, and their employees or temp workers go to this website. And by the way, this is, you can test it all back home yourself. So this is just a quick demo. They go to the website where they click collect. Yeah, I want to collect the $55. And how does that work? They get a pop-up from that screen asking them, what's your login in the Bilon app? The Bilon app can be logged in on your smartphone, desktop, machine, server, it doesn't really matter. The only thing that this employer needs to know is what's your login. Once he clicked, yeah, give me the money, the, the money starts arriving at the, dig, at the wallet here in the, uh, uh, wherever the wallet is to the right more, to the right. Yeah, 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 there, 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 yeah, yeah. You see, the money is coming in. Physically, that, login name, Robert, is getting now $55 with a couple of clicks. No bank is involved in that transaction. It happens instantly, fully peer-to-peer, -peer, and Robert just got his $55. That's it. This is how you can move money. Not moving money between the banks, waiting for the bank transfer, which doesn't work on weekends, requesting you to have a card terminal, set, sign up for a lengthy procedure, pay 10,000 zlotys to be a member of something and something. You just get it. 
So now let's go to the second demo. And here, in this case, we go to a news website, and it's for demo purposes. Uh, we go to New York Times. There is this great article. How can I spend now this money? This is that demo about. The article, you know, a lot of paywalls out there right now. So you've got these two paragraphs, and you want to read more. So you click the button, uh, read more, pay the 20 cents. What happens now? Again, a pre-populated pop-up from the author of that article, which enables the author that publishes on New York Times to make that money, these 20 cents, which he otherwise would never earn from the reader of that. When he clicks pay, what happens now is a pop-up that comes in from the, uh, into the demo app, where Robert will now approve that. So there is that second click, which is all about approval. Yep, this one. And the money moves instantly from Robert's laptop here, connected over Wi-Fi, to the author. It's not pay with twit. It's not fake money. It's real money moving between two people where the merchant, in this case the author, makes the money immediately. Uh, if you think about all the other possibilities we can do, yeah, and here you've got, the, you've got the full access to the article. If you think about all the possibilities, uh, we're now working on how to change email into an eShop. Because this link, pay button, can be in any email that you send out. Say you're selling the trainings of yours, Coder Lab, and you want to sell the first lesson for 10 Zlotties, you can put in the link, buy now, into the all email marketing you're doing. But you like it even more, so you can put it on Facebook. Everybody who sees your post can directly buy on Facebook with single click. Just imagine how much more e-commerce and usage of money there is out there that you can think of yourselves out. I hope I haven't run out of your time, and I hope I haven't bored you to death, if you would have any questions. Roberto and I are here, and are more than eager to answer anything. Go ahead. Fully opened API, you just go to our website, and you've got all the APIs you can think of. We support. It's up now. It's up now. Basically, what we enable is, for instance, we did this gig for Uber, uh, the taxi, you know, the, 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 uh, which enables to pay directly from our app to the driver, mobile to mobile app. <laughs> you only need to leave it for the approval, because it's at the end money, but the user might cancel the approval and just go ahead without additional approvals. So we've got all the gigs you might think of. You had a question? It's a great question. It's like in cash. If I've given the money to Martin instead of you, what can I do? I can ask Martin to give it back, right? That's how we work. It's cash. So it's instant money settlement. And what we deal with, and that's exactly to the question that was just a second ago, we double check that you're the person that is supposed to get the money. So for instance, I can make the website to ask you three times, are you sure your login name is Robert? to whom I want to send the thousand Zlotties. If you approve three times, come on. This is how we do it. Go ahead. Uh, we do earn. We are not pro bono. Definitely not. Uh, there are three or four elements that are critical in that. Number one, we work with the financial institutions. So let's say that the financial institution are our clients. Number two, we do have uh, fairly f many value-added services for the merchants. One of them is with that single click, an invoice and money delivery data can be transferred. Then we ask for a fee from the merchant. Also,
yeah, yeah, whatever is the value, we don't care. It's the merchant that decides for how much he wants to sell. We're just showing that we're able to do micropayments, so micro money movement, without real trouble. Exactly. Why would that be a problem for us? It moves, when it moves peer to peer, peer, you remove all these troubles of all those intermediaries sitting today in the payments ecosystem. All right. If I saw somewhere hand, but I lost it. Okay. Thank you so much. I have a question before you finish. Um, what about um, currency exchange? I mean, how, how is that regulated within your app? Um, first of all, everything we do is so heavily regulated. The, the laws are horrible. And the laws in Europe are fixed and set. Everything with, we do is fully regulated. It's called the e-money directive. Uh, our customers are banks. So when it comes to the FX, so multi-currency uh, wallets, money movement, we just do it exactly the same. It's more of a technical game that we are developing now than, uh, than legal stuff. Thank you. All right. Thank you so much. Robert and myself are here if you've got any other questions. Thank you, guys. Thank <clears throat> you.